Mark Buckner. I work in uh, the RF Communications Intelligence Systems Group. I do work in a combination of machine learning and cognitive sciences applied to uh, signal processing problems. There's great need for, uh, for robotic systems. You know, the, the ability to process images uh, the way a cat processes and can recognize a mouse. Uh, our current computational systems um, take a lot of horsepower, a lot of power. So one of the things we're hoping to do is if we take algorithms inspired by the retina and, and the cortex, uh, we can put them in uh, computers, machines, uh, platforms, and do it at lower power, but have better efficiency. And so it makes image processing more functional, more robust, and more like we see. A good example would be in unmanned aerial vehicles or in, in uh, search and rescue robots. If, uh, if you have something that can recognize um, people, individuals, objects in cluttered environments, then being able to implement an algorithm there really helps. For example, the Boston bombing. If you're able to, to utilize algorithms that are more biologically inspired, uh, we could identify a, a suspect, a problem, and then be able to track it more efficiently. What is FIRST Robotics? FIRST stands for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Uh, I got lassoed in because of my kids and other kids in the neighborhood wanted to, to do FIRST LEGO League. So um, I've mentored for nine years uh, in both elementary and middle school. And the last two years, I've been involved in FIRST Robotics at the high school level. And one of the reasons I'm involved is um, I think it's going to be critical for developing the next generation of scientists and researchers here at the lab to be able to, to find solutions, be able to iterate on those as rapidly as possible, um, but then to be able to, to work in a team of people that come from multiple disciplines and multiple backgrounds that bring a unique perspective to solving the problem. I'm sure a lot of us were inspired by mentors or teachers or others in the field uh, that, that gave us the inspiration to pursue and do things that, that we didn't think we could do. Uh, I think that's one of our responsibilities is to give back both to our community and to, to those around us. The other is I think it's a unique opportunity uh, here to engage students to do things they never dreamed they could do. Uh, so one of my goals for, for these young kids is, yeah, they'll go on and get graduate degrees so they're in the workforce, but they'll come back and make this a vibrant place to live and, and a more exciting place to live. I've had the unique privilege to be here over 25 years and I've actually had seven completely different careers. So that's the exciting thing is you can find somebody here at the lab that's an expert in some field. And um, you can go to them, you can collaborate, you can brainstorm together, you can pr bring unique perspectives together to solve some of the most pressing challenges that face our world.